Closed captioning for old school outdoors is brought to you by MB Ranch King Blinds. It's nothing like dove hunting. You know, they come in low, they come in high, they come in fast. Really need one of them just a turret so I can just turn around and circle. I feel like I ought to be on the Weather Channel in a rain suit. School Outdoors, we're headed to San Fernando, Mexico for white wing hunting with Wide Open Outfitters. We just got here to Wide Open Outfitters. Steve and the guys are well prepared for us. They met us with drinks and food when we got here to the camp. We're all getting settled in. And I wanted to show you something that's kind of special about this place. You don't have to bring guns to Mexico. They're fully outfitted. And I want to show you the gun room. It's something special to see. So uh, let's go take a look. This, this room is full of Berettas and Benelli's. Uh, the Benelli's that they shoot are monofeltros. They're high quality guns. They're broken down, cleaned with Varsol, down to the, to the inch of the gun. They're cleaned every day, every hunt. They're cleaned and ready to go. Uh, they've got a full line of Berettas, Benelli's. Uh, they've got some over and unders to shoot. There's no need to bring guns to Mexico. They've got plenty of guns here for you to shoot. I'm really looking forward to shooting doves in Mexico with a 28 gauge. I mean, I think that can be the coolest thing ever. Well, now, if you want to step up, I shoot with a 410 if you want to get with the big boys. Okay. Yeah. Are we going to bet on Charles birth? Now, I'll do 28, 28, and I'll go $2 to every dollar on you, and I guarantee you I'll still win. Why does it feel like I'm being hustled? <laughs> <laughs> You're in Mexico. <laughs> Wide Open Outfitters is located in San Fernando in Tamaulipas, Mexico, headed by Steve McCain, Jr. He's got an amazing first-class operation. The biggest gripe to any person with the outfitter is they have bad guns. Yeah, and, that's you true. Know, yeah. and when I built this company, I used to be a customer, and I wanted it to be what I wanted. So I don't want any complaints about anything. And people see how clean our guns, how whatever. Now there's no automatic that's not gonna hang up. That's true, that's but true. But not fall okay. apart. Yeah, yeah. But you go to some outfitters, you're shooting and the whole gun falls apart. Yeah. It's just a problem. Yeah. And we don't want that problem. So I'm really looking forward to getting the rust off and shooting some, shooting some birds, shooting a shotgun. I'm, I'm gonna shoot a 28 gauge for the first time ever. And I, that's a real thrill for me, man. I'm excited. Well, let's get to it, man. Let's do it, Steve. Can't wait, buddy. All right, man. We're gonna get it on. Dove season is always an ex exciting time of the year because that's the first of the of the hunting season. Hey, this is, this is really exciting. We're in the San Fernando Valley, Tamaulipas, Mexico, and it's opening morning. I'm super excited. Uh, I've never shot a 28 gauge, and so it's my first time. My first few shots, I hadn't done so well. It's nothing like dove hunting. You know, they come in low, they come in high, they come in fast. There you go. Here. I don't know why I shoot at him way out there. down. Oh, 
Got one shot. Ah, got him, got him. We got enough doves to make some more of them wraps that we had last night. Those were awesome. Oh, for sure. But the last night we're going to have a, a Mexican feast and we're going to have uh, dove ranchero, dove mole, bacon wrap doves, fresh dove tamales, and uh, dove spaghetti all at one time. That and sounds I, incredible. You know, we want to eat what we kill. That's oh, yeah, the most yeah, important sure. thing in the for world. Sure. For sure. So what we're shooting today, these are called Paloma Blancas or white wing doves. And most of us back in the United States shoot morning doves. But uh, you can see, I mean, by their name, they're, they're, they're white wing. And their body's probably 20, 25% bigger than a morning dove. But they're essentially the same bird, just, just a little bit bigger. They fly a little bit faster. And uh, they're just more predominant in the South Texas area and in New Mexico. Now, back in uh, you know Louisiana, Texas, Northern Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, you get morning dove, but there's a few of these up there, but that's what's cool about coming to Tamaulipas, Mexico, is you get to shoot these white wings, and, and they're a challenge. Old School Outdoors is brought to you by Ducks Back, America's original sportsman brand since 1904. Liberty Safe, Sawyer Outdoors, GSM Outdoor, Center Point Archery, Back Ridge Ammunition, Outback Wildlife Feeders, and by MB Ranch King Blinds. You know, there's two different kinds of hunters, those that are super serious and those that just want to have a good time and still shoot. And that's Colton Sanders. You hear me, Jose? You worry about, well, you want to put me where all the birds are, okay? The guys that are on the TV hey. show, we're not worried about hey, them. Like Dove hunting is a social sport and I think that's what makes this group unique and what makes this hunt unique, where we can have some camaraderie, shoot together, hunt together, eat together, drink together, enjoy each other's company. And we're here down here in Mexico. It's the first afternoon, and the doves are just getting started flying. But uh, we're looking forward to a good hunt this afternoon. We're having a good time with Steve and the guys at Wide Open Outfitters, and they drive wide open. Or if they're with the wind, they're booking it now. And it's like, and you don't have a lot of time because it's not that open to really see them and kind of figure it's coming, coming. They're there. You better throw up and be ready to shoot. In fact, I feel like I ought to be on the Weather Channel in a rain suit. He did. Really need one of them just a turret so I could just turn around in circles. Man, you better be ready, cause when, they, when you see them, you got to be shooting. Like that. When you're out here in this uh, boiling hot sun, folks, good idea to get you some of this Sawyer products here. Some of their sunscreen keep you just burning your skin plum off. I always keep some in my pocket here in case it starts getting hot. There's a low flyer. Bingo. They'll be getting with the wind and they'll be flying high and darting low and coming across. It just it's a good warm-up and it's a good skill test and it's just a lot of fun. Lord, thank you for staying. Thank you for safe travels. Lord, thank you for uh, 
the camaraderie and the fellowship we're having here. Lord, uh, keep us safe as we hunt and uh, bless this meal and the nourishment of our bodies and forgive us for we pray. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It's our second morning in Mexico. Man, these doves are everywhere. <laughs> mm. Now I want to talk about uh, personal protective equipment and I want to do something for the moms this morning. Moms coddle these kids and take care of them and stuff. Nobody really ever talked to me when I was a youth about earplugs, sunscreen, and eye protection while you're hunting and, hunting and fishing. Uh, you know, 40 years of sun damage to me, I should have been wearing sunscreen a long time ago and I didn't do it, but I've wore sunscreen for the last eight or 10 years and uh, it's kind of made a difference. The damage hadn't gotten any worse. And when I lay down at night, my ears ring and I wish somebody had told me about wearing earplugs. So it's vitally important that, uh, especially our youth, when you're taking them hunting, uh, that they wear sunscreen, they wear earplugs and eye protection to keep them safe, especially dove hunting. You get a lot of falling shot and things like that. So it's easy to get something in your eye or powder from your gun in your eye or something like that to prevent an injury. So uh, that's the uh, that's the tip of the day from Old School Outdoors. I've got a nice floater here. Woohoo! I like this little 28. It's pretty sweet. It's a little bread of silver pigeon. It's just about having fun, folks. It's not, you know, it's it's fun and it's fellowship, and that there, there's nothing better than that to get out of the everyday rut and get out and, and enjoy the wide open spaces. Good shot, Dennis. Believe it or not, Dennis is actually an amazing wing shooter. He's a very good shot. And I was giving him this compliment right about the time Dennis was sitting down, fell back over. It was freaking hilarious. Sitting down wasn't getting the job done. I stood up for a few minutes. That wasn't doing it. I thought, well, maybe I'd lay on my back. That might help. Heck, you used to. I'd give it one of them ninja tricks and to come off the back and just up roll the up and now not anymore. Now then you wallow around for five minutes just trying to get started up. They don't call us old schoolers for nothing. <laughs> it drove him crazy. <laughs> I said it's warm down here in Mexico. Uh, we're, we're at the end of August, and it's pretty, it's pretty hot in the mid 90s. But uh, there's been a great breeze the whole time we've been here. Uh, and the hunts Steve and them do, you know, they hunt, go out and shoot hard for two, two and a half hours, kill your birds, and go in and relax at the lodge, and go back out late in the evening. It's uh, it's really been an incredible trip. It's a lot of pressure too, because these bird boys have inner company competition about how many birds they kill. So you gotta shoot pretty good or you let your bird boy down. You know, part of uh, hunting folks is like family. I've got my brother Jimmy down here, my son David. I had a good shoot this morning. How was y'all? Y'all's on another part over there. It was uh, great. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was a little open like we see here, but uh, the dust just came from every direction. You could never, uh, that's what me and Dave was talking about. You could not uh, say, well, they're coming, they're coming this way. It's like Argentina. Yeah, they you were know, just, just coming from everywhere. It's as good as Argentina. It was good. It was good. I liked it. Don't 
Man, I am telling you what, I, they are flying non-stop. It's just about as fast as you can shoot. I've hunted doves all over the world. I mean, Argentina multiple times. I've not seen it any better than this. This is, this is awesome. This is awesome. Man, it's almost as fast as you can shoot. Yeehaw! You know, I don't know how many boxes of shells I've shot this morning and today. I've not had a, a single misfire or hang up. It's, it's incredible. This little 28 gauge, this Benelli 28 gauge, just a, it's a sweet shooting gun. It's a lot of fun, but extremely reliable. I don't know how to describe it except for it's just fabulous wing shooting and the facilities are great and we just had a wonderful time. Old School Outdoors is brought to you by Ducks Back, America's original sportsman brand since 1904. Liberty Safe, Sawyer Outdoors, GSM Outdoor, Center Point Archery, Back Ridge Ammunition, Outback Wildlife Feeders, and by MB Ranch King Blinds. For more information on booking a hunt with Wide Open Outfitters, contact Kyle Muntean at 815-999-2704. Anybody that's around Colton Sanders is going to have a good time. He is hilarious. Just just listening from a distance, uh, I wanted to go over and hang out with those guys. They were having the best time. And so I got introduced firsthand to a prickly pear, uh, which got me in my leg. But I actually got treated to a treasure that I found right beside that prickly pear. I was looking down at that prickly pear bush that got me in the leg. And I said, dang, that looks like an airhead. Dang, well, sure was. Well, well, really, you never know what you find out here. Hey. My bar We're having fun here in old Mexico. And Hal and I had this bet. You know, it's like a little friendly competition never hurts anybody. So we want you to go down to Senior Hall and get all his palomas. Sneak around, sneak back, get all, all of the Palomas. I wasn't super confident that I actually beat him fair and square, so I sent my bird boy down there to coyote some of his birds. Hey, we, hey we've had a real good hunt today, Colton. Yes, sir. I don't know how many you got, but um, I think I had a pretty good day. Did you have a good day? I did, I did. I don't know, maybe we can count them. <laughs> <laughs> I had, we had a pretty good pile up here, Greg. Well, there's one more than one way to win a bet in a shooting contest. What was it? It was a hundred bucks. You owe me. <laughs> this is a lame and claim. <laughs> So most of the trip I've shot a 28 gauge. And I thought, it's the last time, what the heck? Why not try 410? I mean, we, we've already had all the shooting that you want. So uh, right now it's not about the number of birds you harvest, it's about the sport and the fun. And... Got him again! <laughs> Good shot. How about that? Good job.
still here, yeah. Dennis didn't know he was going to do this much shooting. He didn't bring him a pad. His arm is blown out. But every field we've hunted has been loaded with action. You can't ask for more than that. Sure, See. you don't want to shoot some? I've shot, I've ah. shot plenty. I don't know. Let me see. Give I've me got my limit. Here, you take some. I'll, I'll hand the shells to you. You gonna load me up? I'll be your shell boy. Let me spike. Oh, bingo, bingo. Shoot him again. I don't know how to describe it except for it's just fabulous wing shooting, and the facilities are great, and we just had a wonderful time, and it's just a lot of fun. At Old School Outdoors, we get to do some amazing things and have some amazing adventures all around the world. If you want to keep up with all our adventures, like us on Facebook and Instagram.